rise today in support of H.R. 2678, which was introduced by Representative Joe Garcia of Florida. This bill would designate the postal facility located at 10, 10360 Southwest 186th Street, Miami, Florida, as the Larsenia J. Bullard Post Office Building. Lucinia Bullard was a school teacher and member of the Florida State Senate, representing the 39th District from 2002 to 2012. She also served in the Florida State House of Representatives from 1992 to 2000. Born Larsenia Dunbar on July 21, 1947, she was a graduate of Antioch College in Ohio and moved to the Miami area from Philadelphia in the early 1980s. She earned her master's degree from Southeastern Nova University and taught first grade, but had a developed a desire for public service while working on political campaigns in high school and decided to run for office. She was elected to the Florida State Senate in 19, House of Representatives in 1992 when she left the State House in 2000. And she managed to her husband's Edward's successful campaign to succeed her. Likewise, her son Dwight succeeded her as State Senator following her retirement. Larsenia Bullard is remembered as a woman of integrity with a great sense of humor, caring, spirit, and a heart of gold. While she fought passionately for her convictions, she treated everyone, including her opponents, with respect and dignity. At the time of her passing, Florida State Senate President Don Gatz said that every hard fight in the committee or tough debate on the Senate floor always is ended with her warmly embracing those whom she disagreed and assuring them of her love. Madam Speaker, Lucinia's example is one that all members of this body would do well to follow. She died in March of 2013 in the town of her birth, Allendale, South Carolina, while on vacation with her family. In addition to her husband, Edward, and son, Dwight, she was survived by her son, Vincent, daughter, Edwina, and her grandchildren. Madam Speaker, I ask that my colleagues join me in honoring the legacy of this great woman and public servant by passing H.R. 2678. And with that, I reserve my time. The, the gentleman from Georgia reserves, the gentleman from Nevada is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman's recognized. Thank you. I'm proud to join with my colleagues in the consideration of R. 2678 and would like to yield to my good friend, uh, the gentleman uh, from Florida who has sponsored this legislation, uh, Representative Garcia, as much time as he may consume. The gentleman from Florida is recognized. Madam Speaker, I <clears throat> I yield my, myself as much time as I'll consume. Uh, I want to thank the uh, gentleman from Georgia and the gentleman from Nevada for their kind words. Larsenia Bullard uh, was a teacher, a public servant, a trailblazer for young African-American women, a mother, and a personal friend of mine. I am honored to stand here today in recognition of her unparalleled service to the people of South Florida. Larsenia spent 35 years living in Richmond Heights, Florida, with her son Dwight, and husband Edward before passing early last year. She was a devoted first grade teacher and an accomplished state representative in the Florida House and a legendary state senator. She is remembered for voting with her heart, no matter the politics or the party. Her passing was crushing to the South Florida community. Although her son Dwight carries on her legacy through a commitment to strong leadership and challenging the status quo, Larsenia was an irrepla irreplaceable champion of the African-American community, defender of education and opportunity equality, and a believer in the ability of each of us to create and instill change. I encourage all my colleagues to vote yes on H.R. 2678, the legislation that would designate the U.S. Postal Office on 10360 Southwest 186th Street in Miami, Florida, as the Larsenia J. Bullard Post Office building. Doing so would recognize not only Larzenia's undying dedication to her community she served, but also the heart, vibrancy, and passion she shared with the world. I yield back the balance of my time. Uh, the gentleman from reserves, the gentleman from Georgia is recognized. Uh, Madam Speaker, we have no more speakers, so we're ready to close if the gentleman. Gentleman from Nevada is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I support the passage of this bill to honor the passion, dedication, and love with which Lucinia Bullard legislated, and I urge this body's adoption of H.R. 2678.